Hey everyone, it's James at Outdoor Insight here. We're here at the OTS Trade Show. Um, it's an outdoor trade show, so this place is for brands to present their newest, latest, greatest products to all the amazing retailers in the UK. So we're gonna take a little walk around the show and give you an idea of all the brands that are here and kind of what goes on at one of these shows. So I'm just gonna scan this, got the floor plan, now off we go. So it's where people ch check in and register just over here. And then this is the entrance to the show. So put that back in my pocket and then we'll start walking around. So first thing, a couple of little brands. We've got uphill socks here. Very interesting product, yeah. So at the moment. We've got Blundstone, footwear brand. And you'll see that some of the stands here have multiple brands on them, they're distributors, and some stands here are just brands. So you've got uh, distributors here doing sacks, Dewa, brand called Rocker here. Lots of nice bright colourful bags by this thing, which is great. The Groove Armada, they do a number of products as well. So a uh, distributor doing Amundsen, which is like outdoor kind of high-end clothing. And we have little brand here, Elico, which has got some really nice packs. Also we've got Montreal, most people know Montreal from Snow Sports, they have an excellent outdoor range as well. Moving round. And this is just the start, we've got a whole haul to go through. A distribution company, people distribution, doing various brands over here. Little stand behind us doing some pretty cool little books. This is a distribution company called Ultrasport, one of their brands is O'Brien, um, Tahoe Smith. American Socks, Technica, lots and lots of cool brands, both winter sports and outdoor. You've got Kelty and Sierra Designs here, really cool family camping brand. You've got Mustang Survival, so kind of water sports, bit of outdoor. Um, going on so lots of variation lots of different cool brands we go along here another one in here with Technica's garment got, uh, outdoor clothing brand with Kilpie which makes a really good really good price point stuff as well Terra Nova who make tent Wurzel just over here as well uh, these guys I tested a pair of their uh, kind of really cool recycled rubber footbeds last year and they were, uh, sandals I should say and they were absolutely brilliant then we've got Garmin, everyone knows what Garmin is. But they've got a kind of cool little stand here, just like a mobile event vehicle, which is great. So we might have a closer look in there later on. Helinox over here, which is super lightweight, uh, packable. Uh, chairs, deck chairs, camp beds, everything there. And Maya Sports here, and some really good outdoor clothing as well. Outdoor research. Uh, Therma Rest Platypus, all done by the guys at Pro Agency, so just another distributor with multiple brands. Got a brand over here called Swandry, which actually I've not seen before, but looks really nice, some really cool Czech stuff. Very outdoorsy by the looks of things, which is great. Cafe over there, so when you're hungry and you need your coffee, you've got it. Everybody knows Tilly, right? Everyone's seen Tilly hats before in an outdoor store, so well known brand. We've got a distributor here called Arblair, who do Aku footwear and Lecky Poles, again, both big brands within the UK. Keela, which is another really nice brand, good price points, covers lots of outdoor cycling, etc. Moving along, we've got Crack Hoffers here. Crack Hoffers, really popular brand in the UK, makes really good solid wear and outdoor stuff. So it's Richard from Crack Hoffers saying hello there. So footwear, clothing, everything. Azalo, really technical outdoor footwear, which is really good stuff. You've got the CDAS guys over here doing their socks. Mine over there. Uh, and obviously full range of footbeds and they've got this really cool analysis machine which we may do a little feature on we did one last year actually uh, but they've upgraded it even more mind all footwear grangers waterproofing all really good stuff craft over here and thorlo socks um so again sportswear outdoor socks etc citrus line who do uh, cloud retail solution end-to-end -end cloud retail solution that i can read that off the side uh red wing safety um peak design Really cool little layout stand. We got Phoenix, that lighting, head torches, everything else. Raiden Sports, which is a multi brand distributor, did lots of cool stuff. Hello! Uh, and then we've got Autovox, um, again, in mind of a ski brand, but they make some really cool outdoor stuff as well. Uh, a lot of merino based stuff, etc. Free Spirit over here. Most people may have heard of that brand. Really nice, soft, comfortable footwear um, for the outdoor market and lifestyle market. HJ Hall, which is a sock brand, just over here. Make that outdoor rambly type sock. Uh, we're, we're so we've got the Scott the over here with their trail running collection, which is looking really fresh. And then we've got Superfeet, the guys here, so doing their insoles with their custom machine as well. So, really, really popular insoles in the outdoor world. We've got Back Camping here, which is part of the Scott group. 
Um, they make some really cool travel bags and some great little tents. And we're just going to walk down this aisle and then we'll kind of check back. So we've got um, Oboz, Sprayway, Trekmates, all different brands done by Coast here. We've got Coast here, some really good torches and head torches. We did a small feature on that last year when we were here. Um, swim Secure. See these uh, people swimming, uh, these uh, things on them, which is great. So you, you've got tank to float on if you need to, but also people know where you are. You're out uh, swimming in the wild. You've got Muck Boot Company, Extra Tough, Cotswolds, lots of different outdoor footwear brands there. And then behind me, you've got a company called Mids Solutions, which I think the clue is in the name, okay? It's gonna protect you from the midges and the and all the bits and bobs. Um, Pelotec blister prevention. So I think again, the clues are there with that one. It's gonna prevent you from getting blisters. We've got Om just here, who do some really cool packs and trail, like really light kind of camping, running, trail running stuff, which is great. Um, we're gonna go this way, I think. So we've got Montaigne over here. Montaigne, really popular brand in the UK. Hi guys. Uh, then we've got over here, we'll walk around and do this. Cicerone, which does maps just there. We've got Hydroflask, a well-known kind of bottle brand. Um, we've got some rope supplies here from Ibex Marina Rope supplies. Osprey, really, really popular. You can, yeah. Osprey are. Mick Wax. Again, waterproofing, reproofing, washing your clothes, really good stuff. Uh, mounts, I saw this online. This is a really cool company actually, we'll come back to this, but uh, they make some really wicked stuff for kids. Uh, designed by a guy who loved doing the outdoors and wanted some stuff for his kids. Saw the video, it was brilliant. Wired for Adventure, that's a magazine. Dual Stone, Lifestyle. Um, clothing all made in the UK with a really cool ethical story uh, we've got picture here as well it's the first time I've seen picture at an outdoor show which is great picture is well known in the ski world for their amazing ski clothing and their cool story and here with their outdoor range as well uh, we've got snow peak um, Japanese brand I believe and uh, they've got some really really nice stuff so it's really cool drinkables as well really premium um, coming around we've got a brand Carson there doing head torches Sig and Vasque, the Sig water bottles, super popular. Vasque footwear, another really good footwear brand. Super Sparrow, another drinks company there. And then Adidas Eyewear. I'm sure most people know who Adidas are. And then Altura, um, cycling stuff and some kind of outdoory styles as well. Altura is a really, really popular brand in cycling. It's really good price for it, it's really good quality stuff. Um, then this is the award section, so we'll go back into a few stands. But the award section, we've got camping equipment, we've got travel backpacks, we've got tents. And the idea here is that people can enter all their products, give a really cool description. So uh, we'll go into the sleeping bag one here. You know, the description of this one, this is a Kelty sleeping bag as an example. Um, but everyone will enter their products into these uh, competitions, basically, uh, whether it's design, uh, eco angle, whatever it is, they'll try and pitch uh, to, to show that their product's kind of better than anybody else's. And then there's an independent panel of experts that then vote on the, which uh, the winners of the category. So um, yeah, nice little uh, event area here that you've got for the awards. Um, and we'll announce the awards kind of later in the week and we'll, we'll do a bit of coverage on that. So uh, ropes, clothing, kind of everything you'd want, all the categories, the climbing category on the end here. Black Diamond, so the outdoor purists will definitely know Black Diamond. Most people will know Black Diamond, make some really good outdoor climbing stuff, um, as well as obviously ski stuff too. DMM, super popular in the climbing world with the harnesses, packs, um, and the uh, clips and cramp, and uh, all the other bits and bobs. And we've got Milo, which is the brand here, so it's climbing, outdoor wear, backpacks, etc. So we kind of come to a dead end here, so we're just gonna shoot round and we'll catch the end of the Petzl stand and then walk back across. So Petzl obviously super um, popular head torches, one of the biggest head torches brand in the world. We've got another company over there, Beyond Hope Climbing, who do multiple brands and lots of different climbing stuff. So if you want a bit of brand variation in your store, the distributors can really offer that at these sorts of shows. They have multiple brands, you can have a point of difference, etc. Leon Water Sports and Leon Equipment here. And then they're outdoor with La Sportiva footwear is just there carries on quite a big stand the leon guys are multiple brand distributor as well um, in the middle here you've got multiple brands as well you've got ice bug over there which makes footwear you've got uh, Taneo, which is climbing shoes um, so lots and lots of different brands and lots of variation we've got uh, another brand here called wide boys I'm not familiar with it we'll learn more during the show i'm sure uh, dark ventures as well which is climbing footwear outdoor footwear um, Soleil with Dinafit, big brand. Soleil was one of the biggest outdoor brands in Europe. Um, Dinafit is their kind of fast and light trail running and, and uh, ski touring brand. Boreal footwear, it's a really popular brand, really big brand. Climbing shoes right up to kind of expedition boots, okay? So everything going on with those guys. 
Who have we got? We've got First Descent UK, which is another multi-brand distributor. There's some really good cool climbing brands. Gibbon, which is the um, the ropes that you can see there. So uh, slack lines, which are really good fun. If you've never tried one, you should give it a go. Uh, this is, uh, we'll just do it this way actually, quickly. This is a multi-brand distributor. This is Bradshaw Taylor. They have uh, Artelec, which is a, a brand that they created themselves. So it does like multifunctional underwear, mid layers, etc. Ten Tree, which is a, a nice lifestyle brand with a cool story. They've got Sherpa, which is a really nice story. All their brands have got a really great story here. And then Keen as well, which is super popular footwear. So we're going to head back this way, and then. We've got Rab and Low Alpine here, big stand of Rab and Low Alpine. I don't need to introduce Rab and Low Alpine. Uh, everyone knows who they are. Obviously, Rab make great clothing, Low Alpine make great packs. Mamu, we've got here. Uh, Mamu, again, another big Swiss brand, um, but pretty big in the UK now as well. They make really good technical outdoor kit. Next, we've got Storm. It's another waterproofing brand. We did a little feature on Storm last year, so a uh, really nice story with these guys as well. Make great waterproofing stuff. Life Systems. Um, Life Systems make really, really um, nice bottles, kind of, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? First aid packs, that's it. A uh, range of first aid packs that's suitable kind of everywhere you want to go. So if you need a first aid pack for your travel, Life Systems is really one of the main places to go. And then over here we've got Camelback. Camelback, obviously, big hydration brand. And then Triton, this is a, a distributor here as well. Then we've got Buffalo, another clothing brand, pretty popular, quite classic styling, but very British. We've got Dolomite, which is footwear brand. Okay, it's done by the guys at, at Scott. Uh, then we've got Dometic, um, Dometic Outdoor, is a really big provider of kind of coolers and stuff like that. They obviously make these tents that's on top of your car as well. So lots and lots of cool products from these guys uh, and reasonably price point, uh, kind of conscious, but they, uh, they're really, really good kit. So we'll have a little bit of a closer look into them as well during the show. Burton McCall, multi-brand distributor. If you just scan up that, you can see all the brands they do. I'll pick out a couple thousand mile, uh, Victoria Knox, Bridgedale, uh, Goal Zero, the battery pack. So some really kind of cool brands in there. Oh, and moving along swiftly, we've got Life Jacket brand here, Four Corners UK distribution, doing hats and camic footwear. Um, big brand here is Vango. Uh, Vango do packs, uh, tents, kind of everything you'd need for family camping. And then Teva here, um, you've got lots and lots of sandals and footwear from Teva. Uh, really popular kind of lifestyle brand for the outdoors. Rumpel, uh, this is a brand I looked up last night, so they do uh, really cool blankets, kind of premium blankets. I nearly lost my voice there. Um, so that's really nice, lots of colours, lots of cool things going on there. Penny Hansen. Lovely stand from Heli Hansen, same as they had last year really. Um, but yeah, Heli Hansen needs no introduction. It's a big, uh, you know, big brand in kind of sailing, outdoor ski, etc. And they obviously make some really cool outdoor kit. And they've got a little brand there called Spinlock as well, which looks like a little kind of water accessory brand. But lots of cool stuff going on here. So, you know, if you're a buyer for an outdoor store or uh, anything that sells you know, outdoor type products, you absolutely have to come to shows like this. You get to see uh, all these different brands. You can even just wander. You don't need to make appointments. Just wander around and just kind of have a look. All the things are quite interesting to you. You might find a new product that someone else is not doing that would work for you in store or someone's mentioned before. It's really cool stuff. Uh, we're back to Tilly. So we're going to just go down this way. We've got Thermarest through the pro agencies, guys. And then we're back to where Maya Sports is, and we're just going to walk out the end of the show now. So that's kind of a whistle-stop tour of OTS. Um, lots and lots of stands here, lots over a hundred different brands here. So if you're interested in looking at new brands for the store, or you know, kind of maximising your time by meeting people you already uh, stock in store to do orders with them, but also discover new brands, this is one of the greatest places to come. So come here for uh, three days. The show's open for three days, um, and you can kind of get everything covered in those three days. So if you've seen, it's a reasonable show it's taken me nearly 15 minutes just to walk around and do a whistle stop tour so if you were planning that with meetings having a good look you could easily get lost in here for a couple of days looking at a product which is what I'm gonna do for the next couple of days so anyway that's our whistle stop tour from Outdoor Insight of OTS thanks for watching and we'll see you next time